the, the database type might be different. You have two options at the moment, MySQL and MySQL I. So I'm going to go with MySQL for now. Host name is, at the moment, since we are using RAM service, localhost. I'm pretty sure most of you, uh, you know, hosting providers use the same. Okay, username is uh, root. I don't have a password, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Database name is Joomla. Click on next. If it's wrong, it will tell you it's wrong. Let's see what happens. Oh, good. Nothing happened. Uh, okay. Believe. Uh, enable FTP. Uh, FTP user. Let's see. Root. To find enter peer password. Okay. We'll just leave that there for now, and then click on next. Okay, and then you give it a site name. I'll get back to F back to it in F FTP settings. So just for now, we'll go and and install it. So site name is I'm gonna call it Joom La Le Learning Site. Your email, I'll put Joomla at Joomla.com. You don't. I mean, uh, this is just a made-up email. You need to write come up with the original username admin password is I'm gonna put uh, Joomla again and then admin password Joomla okay and then if you want you can install sample data which I'm gonna do now sample data installed successfully and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on next and then if you're using Firefox, uh, obviously it will ask you, do you, wanna, do you want Firefox to remember the password for Joomla at joomla.com on HTTP, uh, well, localhost? I'm going to say no. I don't say passwords on Firefox. Okay, now what you need to do, you need to delete the installation directory because whenever you type in localhost forward slash Joomla, it will not let you see your site because the installation folder is still in there so I'm gonna minimize it there and then I'll go back onto my computer H uh, hard disk C drive ramp server www directory and then here we have Joomla and then on there that, that's it installation folder I'm gonna delete that yes or you can rename it if you want uh, open up your browser again you can click on admin or you can click on site I'm gonna go into site mm -hmm. okay so that's it localhost forward slash Joomla and that's your main page now what you need to do is you need to log into your administration panel and then uh, start cust customizing it uh, administrator uh, sorry administration I think administrator actually administrator let's try administrator there you go okay site username is admin and the password I put is Joomla I'm gonna log in done that press enter anyway that's your um, admin panel so from there you can configure your FTP settings. Uh, to be honest, I I don't remember my FTP settings. So I'm just gonna leave it, leave that for you to look at your server settings and then find out. So if you need to enter your FTP settings, what you do is from there, from from your control panel, you go on to global configuration and then server, and then that's it. FTP enable FTP you say yes and then you have to put your username and the password and then the FTP root um, you can also you know add mail settings and change other stuff on your server so allow user registration if you if it's 
something that you like, you can always leave that. But please know if it's just a you know, a personal website or something, you should leave it now because I have few websites online and um slow loads of spammers they just you know create accounts but they never use it i don't know they might be trying to hack hack my websites but yeah i i prefer to leave it no um and then you can do uh, all sorts of things site see this is where you should put m uh, meta keywords uh, if your website wants to be user friendly for google or yahoo or bing from msn Microsoft then you should come up with relevant uh, keywords and then also you should come up with something uh, a good description for your website um, it also Joomla also comes with uh, search engine optimized uh, settings which you can enable so all you do is you say yes 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 uh, and then save it um, but just to let you know to use Apache mode rewrite uh option you have to um you have to um uh rename your from your directory you have to rename this hta axis there should be something yeah text file to dot hta axis before you uh, if you want to use that okay and then uh and then you just Play around with it. You can ch go on to main man man menu manager. You can change the menus. You can install components. If you want to install something, you go on to install, install there, and then l there's loads of stuff you can download from Joomla.org. You just click on extensions and resources. So they'll let you download stuff. Uh, module manager. You can activate activate stuff you know you just if you want to activate something you just enable or disable um, and also you can d download different templates for your website and install them as well at the moment um, I'm using this one here it comes with some other built-in so I'll just show you bees how it looks so all I do is select that and then default it okay now if i just click on preview my site should look like this okay so well that's how you install joomla um it's quite easy isn't it um well if you need any help uh, send me a message on youtube uh, which is tech release dot tech release my username um if you like this video please rate it uh, comment it and also subscribe it uh, I'll upload more videos showing you how to install and configure your WAMP server and a uh, few other web designing techniques like using you know Dreamweaver to edit files uh, from Joomla and designing uh, images uh, to be used on a Joomla site on Firefox or Adobe Photoshop um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video. If you need help, uh, send me a message. Thank you.